so you just got some really sexy cute lacy underwear and you have a whole night plan with your partner you know all the work and um yeah before you go off on your date you go to the bathroom you take off your pants and on your underwear you see this big sticky icky blotch hi my name is dr tanya i'm also known as dr cutris and today we're talking all about vaginal discharge what is normal what is abnormal how do i find out what's abnormal and if the discharge i'm having is normal or not what kinds of discharge they are and what the f does discharge do anyway <laughs> let's dive right in the first thing that i do want to say at the outset and the beginning of this video is that vaginal discharge is completely normal everybody gets discharge everybody gets a certain amount of vaginal fluid that leaks out of their vagina this is because this is how your vagina keeps itself clean if you've seen some of my older videos you would know that your vagina is a queen who keeps herself clean on her own but how the vagina cleans itself using this exact vaginal discharge so basically we have a nice healthy army of good bacteria inside our vaginas they fight off all of the infection causing bad guys they fight off everything that should not be there think of it kind of like this that you know when you do clean your house you mop it and after you do your jhadu and your dusting you do a pocha when you're done doing your pocha which is your mopping you're not going to sit around storing that dirty pocha water at home forever are you you throw it out that's exactly how the vagina works once it's completely clean and it feels all right it throws the pocha water out and that pocha water is your discharge and that's why everybody gets a little bit of discharge every now and then and some people also get it every single day so i hope it's well established that vaginal discharge is completely normal moving forward from that a lot of times discharge can actually be a sign or a symptom of something going a little bit wrong over the vagina <laughs> how do you know when it's right and when it's wrong simply put any time your vaginal discharge presents with any other symptoms now these can be symptoms like itching like burning like a funky smell to your discharge maybe excessive discharge or maybe no discharge at all completely suddenly out of the blue there's so many things that can be a symptom of something else along with your discharge so your discharge is basically god the universe or whatever you want to believe in it's their gift to you because it gives you a very good insight into your health if there's anything off with your discharge if there's any suspicious symptom with your discharge you know something's wrong and you don't have to repeatedly keep going for tests that oh my god is my vagina healthy or not how the fuck am i ever going to know you're going to know by taking a look at your discharge so let's learn a little bit about this discharge itself and find out what's abnormal the first thing about vaginal discharge that can be an indication into something abnormal is the color so normal vaginal discharge is usually sticky so you know if you put it between your fingers and you do this it's going to look basically if you do the same thing with egg white or like we used to do in school with fevicol <laughs> so normal vaginal discharge is sticky it can look creamy or white or it can be completely transparent one of the best examples that people use is that it looks like raw egg white and that's what it really does look like too it can become a little bit thicker in the middle of your cycle as well but usually it ranges anywhere from light gray to colorless to creamy white any other color is a sign of something going wrong in there what are the kind of things that can go wrong let's find out if your discharge is red colored this usually is an indication that your period is about to come there is a little bit of blood mixed in your discharge but if you get suddenly red tinged discharge in the middle of your cycle when the your when your period is nowhere close or if you see blood in your discharge this is a cause for concern it can indicate an injury somewhere downstairs and you would want to speak to your doctor for this aside from this after or right before your period you can get a brownish discharge 
this is because this is just the blood that's mixed with your discharge and it's brown because your vagina is an acidic environment basically if you put lemon juice on blood it's going to become brown your vagina is kind of full of the vagina's version of lemon juice and that's why it digests all the blood and the blood becomes brown so if there's a tiny little amount of blood coming out of you it's going to look brown this when mixed with vaginal discharge can give you a brownish discharge this should happen only before and after your period and not in the middle again if it's happening in the middle of your cycle run to the doctor now let's talk about other weirdly colored discharge that you could possibly have the standard rule of thumb is that if your discharge looks something like you would not expect on your panties for example if your discharge looks green or yellow or some people even have complained of bluish colored discharge then you go to the doctor a lot of times green and yellow discharge can indicate an infection and the infection we are concerned about over here is usually a sexually transmitted infection or an STI STIs like chlamydia and gonorrhea can give you green or yellow colored discharge if you see this you run to the doctor Aside from this, the other kind of discharge that you have to be careful with is if your discharge looks or smells like food. What does this mean? There are two things you have to be careful with. If your discharge at any point starts looking a little bit like dahi or curd, what we literally call curdy white discharge in medicine, this can be the sign of a fungal infection. Now, curdy white discharge or a fungal infection discharge usually comes with itching. You will just want to sit and go the entire day. So if you're getting a curdy white discharge with go to your doctor because it might be a fungal infection. And aside from this, the other food discharge that we're scared about is if your discharge smells like fish. This is also described as having an ammonia-like odor but if like me you bunked all of your chemistry classes you will not remember what ammonia smells like <laughs> so if your discharge smells fishy or some people even say if it smells metallic then you can go to the doctor because this can indicate a change in the pH of your vagina we call this condition bacterial vaginosis and without getting too technical it basically means that all the healthy flourishing bacteria that's supposed to live happily in your vagina are dead <laughs> and you've got some fat bacteria that's growing in there subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us